Don't good evening, good evening, good evening. Starboy Mino keeps this top of the table, baby. Come on, what a goal. And uh, we have the Germans this evening, guys. Apparently, there's going to be some planned attacks. Um, well, let's hope Zinchenko's ready for war then, bruv, because he's talking a good game. You know what I'm saying? That guy ain't on shit, bruv. You know what I'm saying? Zinchenko ain't on nothing. <laughs> like, the game is the game, innit? You know I'm saying? Hopefully, you don't start him tonight, bro. You know oh, no. I don't, bro, if I see his name on the team sheet, I'm ending the stream. Mm -hmm. <laughs> Literally. Like, imagine Sarley cooking him, man. Oh, my days. Bro, they got all their man back in um, in training as well. They had Noyes mm -hmm. back in. Uh, Pavlovic, uh, Mazzari, uh, Sane, Komen, the, Noya, they're all back, bro. Yeah, they've, mm -hmm. been saving, they've been saving him for this, mate. I, I'll see the highlights of their game at the weekend. And um, they've given up, man. They, they gave up weeks ago, to be fair. So um, it's now or never for them, isn't it? But I'm kind of confident, man. Kind of confident. You I'm should thinking, be. You I don't think be. we'll slap him. I've seen our fans getting too giddy, man, like threes and fours and that. Like, nah, you won't slap him, but bro, if you can get a little two, a little two nil would be perfect to take to take back to Germany, isn't it? Um, but yeah, I think you need more than one goal, bruv. Because when you go to their place, they're gonna apply some serious pressure. So yeah, I think you need a couple. Yeah, nice little two nil. That that would be perfect. Because I've seen enough from us up at um Etihad to know we can defend mm. against a good team. So yeah, I'm kind of confident if we get a two goal lead, but the problem is they've got so many good players, man. One lapse in concentration is a goal. Yeah, it but that's matter. why you that's but this is exactly why you need that cushion going into the their home leg. Because I expect both teams to win at home. So it's just who wins by more goals. Mm -hmm. Not only that, Tuchel's um got a very good record in the cups. And this mm. is his last chance, man. He's got to go out of there with some sort of credibility left. Because <laughs> like, he, right. he's absolutely embarrassed him this season, man. First mm. year, 12 years without a title. Could go trophyless. I don't think they've done that since... Well, I can't remember when they've done that. <laughs> Literally. Probably about 15 years ago. Maybe longer. Mm. They always nick something, didn't they? So, yeah, man, this is their last chance. But I'm, I'm pretty confident, man. We we weren't amazing at the weekend. Um that C Tech Bart Simpson does my brain in, bruv. I swear that guy is never in position. Yeah, no wonder him and him and Ben White are swapping and that. Do you know what I mean? Like mm. <laughs> shit. <laughs> it's mad. Honestly, bro, I swear to God, yeah. He was he was doing my brain in. Him and Jesus on that left wing at the weekend are awful, man. Jesus missing clear cut chances. Yeah, and Zinchenko can't defend. Yeah, and then mm. you've got Gabriel coming over into left back, Saliba coming over, and then you've got Ben White, it's just all over the place, man. Just go back to doing what we were doing, man. Put Tommy at left back. Yeah, go with uh, Trossard on the left wing. Mm. Yeah, that's what I do or Martinelli. Like if Saka's not fit, um, although he did train, everyone trained. Timbers back in training. And we got a whole squad ready. So got no excuses, man. No excuses whatsoever. We've got to go, we've got to go out there tonight and beat them. I see they um did you see the banner they put up in the game at the weekend? Bayern fans. No. Because they, they got no fans coming, have they? Not allowed in the ground. So uh, what banner do you got? So they put a banner up saying, fuck you, Wafer, we're going to London. <laughs> Straight, they're going to be in London anyway, bro. Even if they're outside the stadium yeah. shouting, bro, like, they're, gonna... bro, they're storming the ground, trust me. Yeah. <laughs> they're storming the ground. Hey, why bro, not, bro? If, I think that band, it, that band's an absolute piss take, bro. Like, well, how are you going to ban the fans, bro? Like, yeah. from an away game. Like, that doesn't make no sense. Like, what, what was that for, by the way? Um, I think they threw flares on the pitch against Lazio. Uh, what, in Lazio? Home and away, I think. I think in the chat, I know, but yeah, I'm pretty sure it was both games they did it. But um, but yeah, it's funny because when we played Kong, FC Kong, bro, they they had about thirty thousand fans in the ground. They they stormed the disabled entrance and just piled in, bro. <laughs> Literally, just barged the steward out of the way and just went straight in. They were everywhere mad. that night. The game got put back an hour, so I think they'll be there, man. I've seen a lot of things saying um. Like they're buying up executive tickets and stuff like that for like stupid money off a of stub hub and Ticketmaster and that. So they're going to be everywhere, bro. It make for a better atmosphere, though, wouldn't it? <laughs> That'd be jokes. Like when when Kong did it, yeah, th there was a guy in the North Bank Upper. Yeah, he was in one of the directors' boxes. Yeah, executive boxes. Sorry, he had a walkie-talkie and a megaphone, bro. You know, big Z German up there with a megaphone and the walkie-talkie guiding people in and that. I was like, nah, this is wild. Man. Yeah, but at, that, at that point, we were crap in it, so um, mm. the stadium wasn't ever going to be a full full sellout. So they they made the atmosphere sick that night. I can't lie, they were good as gold, though, man. Like even though they barged their way in, like, no <laughs> trouble. I like, bro, it was mad. I went to the seat, yeah, 
right? We get to our seats and there was two Germans there, bro. I was like, oh, what's going on here? <laughs> the funny thing is we parked on the ground that day, innit? Right? So we've gone up in the lift and I was like, yo, why aren't the turnstiles open? What's going on here? We didn't have a clue what was going on. Stewards are going, how did you get in the stadium? Like we parked mm -hmm. on the they were like, no, 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 the game's been called back an hour. It's been put back an hour. We was like, why? It's still trying to get in the crowd. <laughs> and then we went on Twitter. Yeah, and you see all the police horses around the Emirates trying to get rid of them and all that. Man. It's fucking crazy. That's bro. crazy, man. Yeah, it was a good atmosphere, though. And then Alexi Sanchez dunked on him, man. A proper mm. goal. Sick finish. But yeah, man, one, one lapse of concentration tonight, mate. Bang. Harry Kane one nil. So we've got to be on it, man. Yeah, they've got so many players for us not to be on it. But I think we are on it. I think we're properly zoned in at the minute. Nobody's mm. getting any chances, really. Like clear cut chances against us. Like Brighton, you're your 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 manager, mate, your next manager. <laughs> yeah, yeah bro, they've announced um Amarim to Liverpool, so it looks like the door's open, bro. For for oh, is that true? Yeah, yeah. They pretty much announced it. They said they sent the contract over yesterday. Wow. Yeah, I've just Googled it now. Flipping out. I didn't even see that. Mm. And John Murto's gone as well. I told you, man. Banstradama strikes again, bruv. I told you, man, about Murto. So. Right, it's all kicking off, mate. I ain't seen any of this. Yes, sir. You get me? Oh, that's, I'm a that's Ashworth in the job, then. You just got to pay the compensation, I take it. 10 yeah? million, apparently, we've agreed. Um, 10 million. Because they paid six for him. Um, um, so, yeah. No, that's mad. Yeah, but see, the thing, I, re I read something the other day saying that um, he's on gardening leave until November. So you can get him for free in November or just yeah, pay the but, 10, Or just 10 pay, the mil pay to get him earlier. That's exactly the same with Wilcox. It's the same thing. That's why Wilcox resigned, but we still need to pay a compensation fee. Yeah, he, apparently both of them had to give, because of the type of job role they've got, they have to give a year's notice. <laughs> what it was all about. Yeah, I think yeah. Wilcox's only been in that job for 15 months. Imagine having to do a year's notice. That's a joke. Yeah, man. But it's a Man United have got the money, so I'm pretty sure they'll pay for both of them and it'll get done pretty sharpish. It will. Uh, they'll, both, they'll both be available for the summer. They will be. Because um, Newcastle don't want to continue to pay someone that's not working. It doesn't make sense. It's not beneficial for them at all. No, especially if they're close to FFP and all of that that was yeah. announced. So... Yeah, man, and then they're lining up Gareth Southgate. What a bunch of lads. Cheers. That's, that's, that? not, that's not true, blood. Like, do you know what I mean? Inside of United, what the hell, man? Well, who's this, who's this fucking <laughs> trust me, bro. Old mutant. <laughs> that's what I mean. Inside of United. Yeah, whatever, mate. Get a life, Phil. Get a life, like to be inside fella. Tank, mate. Do you know what I mean? Get a life, fella. Do you know what I'm saying? What's man talking about? I mean, it made no yeah. sense, bro. Inside of United, bro. Trot me out. And the thing is, as well, that Barada and Wilcox worked together, didn't they? At sea. Correct. So yeah, that's 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 gonna be a decent. So we got the city, we got the city academy, brother. Do you know what I mean? And then we got the the COO at City, and then you think we're gonna go and get fucking Southgate? All right, mate. Wow, we do, do you know what I mean? That's not happening, brother. Do you know what I'm saying, bro? Listen, when we get the Zerbs, blood, I swear down, man's got a cigar, They're waiting, blood. I've got a cigar waiting for the Zerbi, blood. I'm telling you, listen, we're partying, <laughs> we're partying, fam. Swear oh, down, yeah. it's one of them ones. Listen, we'll start we'll start moving. As soon as we get the right coach, we're back still. Man said I'm a dumb yank. What's gardening leave? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Daryl, that's funny, man. <laughs> hey, that's hilarious. <laughs> Basically, you just get paid to sit at home, mate, not doing your job. Yeah, it's yeah, pretty much. Do you know what I mean? Because they don't <laughs> want they don't want you giving away the, the company secrets. Do you know what I mean? <laughs> oh, I swear crazy. you not have in America you lot have that um that non-compete thing in it or something like that where you can't go to other um, yeah non-compete clause yeah yeah so you can't go to other what's it called companies or whatever um that are in the same field as you it's similar to that so man has to just keep keep his ass um at home you can't go and bring the club secrets and all that do you know what i'm saying to someone else so they've locked him out of his um all of his logins so he, he's got no access to the club details but he still gets full pay so yeah, yeah. nice that's, work that's, if you can get it yeah that's decent yeah. bro i'd love to be on gardening leave man gets paid my full salary to be at home yeah man he just that's gets great. to go and play golf for a couple of hours a day like do you know what i'm yeah. saying like, just chilling amazing, bro. amazing. <laughs> you know what i mean so, money. <laughs> exactly so uh, what do you man. do 
So United basically, if United um if United um don't pay the money, they have to wait till November. But they will pay the money because they want him to work sooner for sure. Or else what's the point in writing off a summer window? Even if Wilcox can do it, like nah, there's no you might as well bring him in. Yeah. And, yeah, Gunan and it's not exactly right. like 50 mil or anything, like it's like 10 mil. I don't know how much. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Mil, it's a minor, like. bro. Do you know what I mean? Um, man said, Rance, you're back where because you ain't near us, bro. Listen, relax, innit? <laughs> relax, re boy. You know, like that. It's one of them ones where a lot can happen in a season, bro. You've seen it with your club, I've seen it with mine. Do you know what I mean? And we've seen it with Liverpool as well. Last season, look where yeah, they, they finished. They were way off, man. Way look off. where they finished last season, and look where they finished this season just because of one window. Football's a strange game like that, bro. Do you know what I mean? One one good window, yeah, and the right coaching appointment, yeah, can turn our fortunes around massively. Because we were only three, three wins off you lot last season and we fucked it. We went backwards instead of forwards. That's just all it is. That's just all it is, bro. So we could easily turn it around. Yeah, the thing is, like, Liverpool just re rebuilt their whole midfield in one window. I think That's all they did. Just the midfield, really, that they focused on. And it's been... It's been a big, it's been a big game changer for them. Yeah, I think when they, when they were buying all these players, we were like, Who's like Endo and Gravenberch mm. and McAllister. Like McAllister's a baller, but yeah. looking at some of these players, and you're just thinking, Nah, nah, mate, mm. they're dumb. And look at where they are this season. Yeah, mm. they've only lost a few games all season, like yeah. two games in the league, and then a couple in the cups. No, mm. one in the cup. They lost to us. No, they didn't lose to us. They lost to you in the cup. I think that's the only. Oh, and they lost a couple in the Europa League. So, yeah, they've mm. lost about five games all season. And they've had mad injuries as well. Mm. So, this goes to show. But, yes, loads, loads of stories doing the rounds about um, uh, Cass and Varane leaving as well. No, is that recent? Because, well, is that Today, just coming yeah. out now? Mm. Yeah, it I wouldn't would surprise I, me. Cass I, looks disinterested, bro. I can't lie. Yeah, Cass is stressed. Cass is fed up, bro, <laughs> playing with these scrubs and playing for nothing. These men are not used to playing for nothing. Mm. You know what I'm yeah. saying? Them men are not used to playing for nothing, bro. It wouldn't surprise me, to be honest. And also, it's the wages is the reason why I think that they could be getting forced out. Nothing to do with anything else. Yeah, they're both the two top owners, aren't they? Yeah. Uh, Fabrizio Romano tweeted out one hour ago, Jason Wilcox coming to Man United soon. So yeah. that's done. That's a done deal already. Yeah, because it's only compensation we need to pay for him. So it's not mm. a lot. Yeah, yeah like he re re retweeted a, a tweet from last week as well. So... Yeah, I wouldn't be surprised if that's already done. They're just finalising the, the last details on that. Mm. But yeah, man, uh, decent, very decent. But um, at least, at least things are happening. That's the main. That's the main thing. I'll be honest. Letting Cass and Varane go, yeah, is not a good idea. However, like if there's actually a plan, like I'll just firm it, bro. Do you know what I mean? And then see what happens. Yeah, so that's the thing. If you can see that your club's actually doing something, yeah, then you, you're going to get behind it. Do you know what I'm saying? Like people are saying, like, the amount of people that have said to me in the last couple of days here, yeah, because I'm being positive. Yeah, when well, I'm positive, when there's things to be positive about, people just don't see that in it. Mm. You know, now I'm putting out videos that like I'm like, yo, bring on, bring on Bayern. Listen, let's just stay chill. You know, we could do a good season this season. Everyone's going, you don't deserve to celebrate. <laughs> yeah, who's stopping me, mate? Yeah, <laughs> you know what I'm saying? bro. I was I like, oh, yesterday. I, I went out last um, yesterday evening. I didn't see my mate for months. Yeah, and there's no watch long. So I went and sat, I went down to Fengarola, down to the beach and had some food and drinks there. Yeah. This geezer walking past. He's like, I love your channel, Gunner. Yeah, keep up the good work. Arsenal, come on. Yeah, I said to my pal, I said, yeah, that's the reality, mate. Yeah, in comparison to the but internet. That, but that is the reality. <laughs> Bare people chat shit. And then every time man, man outside, it's always love, bro. Because guys that chat shit online don't have the energy uh, in real life, bro. They don't. They can't afford a holiday either. <laughs> that too. You know, like that. Do you know what I'm saying? And this is exactly what it. And this is exactly what it is, man. Probably we've got a passport, bro. They don't do mutant passports these days, do they? <laughs> <laughs> this is what I'm trying to say, bro. So like, that's not the reality. That's not the reality, bro. Nah, it's funny, man. It's funny. I know. I'm always positive when there's stuff to be positive about. The problem with social media is that even when we won at the weekend, you know. That people seem to think that you can't call out players that play poorly in a win. So yeah, I was calling yeah. out Zinchenko and Jesus. I said they were crap. I said we were yeah. playing with nine men. Great result with nine men. But you're supposed to overlook that. Do you know what I mean? Yeah, like, this, this is the problem. It. I'm the same. We could win a game and I'll be like, yeah, this weren't it though. Do you know what I'm saying? And that's yeah, what keeps you're drawing the weekend. I'll see that clip doing the rounds of you. 
Mm. Yeah, like where you said, um, yeah, don't get it twisted. That game was shit. <laughs> that first half we were crap and this and that. And mm. it's like, bro, you can call stuff out, even mm. if you get a positive result. The people yeah. seem to think the result masks everything. And that's why the standards of our clubs have been in the gutter for two decades. Well, yeah. decades for your lot. But yeah. it's just nice that my team are competing right now. Yeah, but all, all well and good competing, get over the line. Get over the line, 100%. Yeah, because like I'm looking at our defenders, and I'm thinking, yeah, they're fucking good, man. They are really good, like, and they they really on it as well. Switched on, tuned in. They're concentrated all game. Yeah, they're, the confidence is flowing. The goalkeeper's playing well, and then you drop that dickhead back in at left back, and it's all over the place again. Not that we really had any problems against Brighton, but it's like he's just he just causes panic, Zinchenko. Like mm. it's just panic. Yeah, and the third minute of that game. Brighton got a corner and he's he's like this. He's, he's telling Gabriel, right, you mark him, go on, you mark him. I'm thinking, bro, why don't you fucking mark your man and worry, they worry about them? Yeah, because they know what they're doing, innit? <laughs> yeah. Fucking, it winds me up. And then Jesus missing sitters from three, six yards out and that put him seven yards wide. It's like, no, nah, I don't want to be seeing either of them two here next season. Yeah, yeah, get them gone, man. yeah, get them both gone. Yeah, 29 is doing all right. Yeah, I'd, I'd, um, I'd play him tonight up front. I'd play Trossard and, um, if Martinelli's not fit or ready like to play, and uh, if Saka's not, then um, then I put Martinelli and Trossard in. I don't want to see Jesus bring him off the bench. Yeah, yeah, he, he, he hasn't looked good. Bro, he's been crap for a year. Yeah, and mm. people want to get onto other strikers in this league and that, bro. He costs fifty million quid. Mm. Do you know what I'm saying? I don't know how many goals he scored this season. I mean, it ain't many. I think four or something, Jesus. <laughs> four league goals. Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's it. I'll do yeah, Google it. Four league goals. Yeah, this year he's got four in the Champions the, League. Let's so the match and go natural, bro. No, that's mad. That's crazy. Yeah. yeah, that is actually mental. Yeah, bro, he's got where is it? He's played 28 games he's played this season, 28 appearances. He's got eight goals. Yeah, four mm. four in the Champions League, four in the Premier League. Yeah, I don't want to be seeing him tonight. You know, I would rather 29 up front. Yeah, he, he has he has been he has been awful. I'll be honest, he, he has been awful, bro. But it's just it's just one of them things, bro. But at least you don't have to rely on him now. Last season, you had to kind of rely on him or it was Eddie. Now you don't have to, which is a yeah. positive. Yeah, that's very true. Yeah, 29's playing all right, man. Like, even without the goal at the weekend, he was good. Even, even in the game against um, City, I know he didn't really get a lot of chances or anything like that, but his movement off the ball in that game was top class, man. Like, running mm. in behind the striker, uh, defenders and that, it, just Odegaard didn't find him, didn't pass him the ball. Yeah, but his movement was good. And that's why I'm like, I don't really need Jesus. I don't really need him. Like, Eddie's man, trash. Also, he gives you that extra man, yeah, defensively when you want to sit behind the ball, isn't it? So, mm. the fact that he's not an out-and-out -out striker or, or even a forward, it helps defensively having um, Kai Havertz there. So, it's working yeah. out. Your best team at the moment, Jesus probably doesn't get into it. Like that, this right. is and it's weird. You wouldn't have said that last season. No, I think that's because we were so gassed that he came in and he started off all right. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and then he got that injury. Yeah, and then he came back and then he got another injury. He had to have surgery again. And it's just that now, nah, bro. If you're done. Mm -hmm. Yeah, and since he's come back about a year ago, bro, he's been trash. Mm -hmm. Yeah, he must have scored about eleven goals in the, in the last twelve months. Yeah, I'm sorry, that ain't good enough. No, it's yeah, not. I know, I know he's been injured a little bit, but that ain't good enough, mate. Eleven goals. Sorry, not for me. Yeah, not for me. Yeah, King Kai. King Kai, bro. He's got nine league goals. Same as that flop Nico Jackson. <laughs> and apparently he's a flop. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, it's, it's Nico crazy. Jackson's actually actually playing all, all right. He's actually got better the longer the season's gone on. Uh, he's Both actually right. about, to be fair. Chelsea are just dead, blood. I, I, honestly, I think Jackson's a lot better than we're seeing, innit? Like, I've seen glimpses of what he can do, and I'm like, yo, there's a player there. There's a player there. I've said it from the beginning. I was getting pelters for it, and not so much now. Do you know what I mean? So, I think the there is he, a... he just looks awkward. That's the problem with him. He looks clumsy at times, doesn't he? Like not fully in control of the ball. Yeah, yeah so it's not good to watch. Yeah, but he, he gets in good positions, very good positions. It's just whether mm. he can bury him. Yeah, but, yeah he's he's the least of Chelsea's problems. Made that cover finished. Yeah. Well, I couldn't believe it. I was doing the um the Tottenham game at the weekend. Yeah, and my chat was lighting up saying McBurney's equalised two two ninety third minute. I was like, now you lot are taking the piss. Yeah, yeah. bro. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, Chelsea are bad, man. Wait, I can't believe their fans ain't kicked off yet. Like, I know Lewis goes on one, yeah, and big up Johnny Mimmels as well, but I'll be any of their fans on it, bro. I don't really get it. 
Imagine being that shit for two years. Can you imagine how, how Arsenal Man United fans would be if that was them for two years? Yeah, crazy. Bro, look at look at look at AFTV and, and that United stand and that, yeah, when, when we were losing, like big time getting pammed every week, Wenger in, Wenger out and all of that. Yeah, bro. Mm -hmm. Can you imagine if we were 12th? For two years, be in it. Yeah, that'd be crazy. When we were, that was when we were top four and winning an FA Cup. Mm. Like, bro, it'd be wild. It would be wild. The stadiums would be empty. Nobody'd be spending any money. There'd be protests. Yeah, these Chelsea fans. I'm not having to dig it at any anyone in particular, but bro, they should be kicking off. Mm. Like, imagine drawing. In fact, I think only had, I think Sheffield United had more shots than them. Like, bro, we've spanked eleven past them this season. <laughs> mm. Yeah, it just tells me that Chelsea are nowhere near and they're not going to be anywhere near for a long time. Yeah, because every time they play, they're crap. Yeah, and then they sneak a win against you and they think that's job done and then they go and draw with Sheffield United. Like, get out yeah, they're, they're awful, man. They are proper. They ain't going to change. You got Poch coming out saying it's a five year plan. What's that all about? Bro, have you told us when you got there that it's Chelsea and we have to win immediately? You so what's changed that. in man, eight months? <laughs> you did say that. <laughs> yeah, do you know what I'm saying? But none of these journos will hold him to account. Yeah. yeah, because otherwise they don't get let back in. Yeah, they should be saying, yeah, but on this day, Potch, you said that um, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, stick it on him. But they don't do it, man. They're scared to get kicked out. They're scared mm. to get kicked out. And that's, and that's why when you're controlling the narrative constantly, yeah, it's very easy because most people online, they just go with the narrative. They'll go with the flow. Because they don't want to mm. get like, seen as negative and toxic and that. So they always give it time, give it time, give it time and all this crap. Yeah, and it, may, it makes me laugh as well because the amount of clubs now that are going, oh, but look at Arteta. Yeah, look at what Arteta's done. Bro, he's won one FA Cup. Mm. Uh, yeah, cool. We're up there and we're, we're up top of the table and win the quarterfinals tonight. But let's have it right. We ain't won anything, bro. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah, it's good to where you're going further up the lead and the league and you're looking better and better foundations and all of that. Ultimately, you've got to get over the line and win stuff. So all Correct. these clubs and these fans that are saying, look at what Arteta's done, is mad to me. Yeah, because yeah, cool. We're up there, but we ain't won it. If he wins mm -hmm. it, boy, if then, he then that's, then that's the conversation. Then that, yeah, exactly. Then that's the conversation. If he wins the Champions League, again, you can have that conversation. Yeah, if he wins both, fucking hell, mate. Like, wow. Yeah, I don't think we will. I think Real Madrid will probably win it. I think they'll do see. Mm. But I'm pissed off that game's on at the same time tonight, man. So I'm hoping annoying, the CDO to rock up and storm the stadium and nudge the game back an hour and a half. <laughs> yeah, yeah, bro. I, I want to watch both of them. I'm probably I'm gonna have the city game on um as well. For sure. I need both games on. Yeah, I'm 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 gonna have to be zoned in for Arsenal, man. So I'll have to watch the, the Real Madrid game tomorrow. Mm. unfortunately but yeah Poch said this as well did you see this he said no. yeah when we don't really know what we're doing on the pitch and we're struggling yeah we just give it to Palmer and hope he can do something yeah but I think that but we know Great coaching. The, but we know he's the talisman though we know that he's the talisman yeah but bro to come out and say that as fucking their manager bro like I'd be going nuts if that was our manager mm. like well we don't really know what to do so we just give it to Palmer like what are you I doing you. on the training ground yeah it's a bit it's a bit smelly still mm. Proper smelly man. What do you reckon for this um city game tonight? Because like fucking bro, they've spanked eight goals in the last couple of games, but they ain't been like scintillating and fucking on fire. It's like, like against where Paris, where is it? Twice. Is it in Spain or is it in yeah Bernabeu, man? Oh yeah, of course it's in Spain because I saw Big Steve and um Daps going to Spain. Um I think City will be happy to leave with a draw, to be honest, because City will believe that they can win at home. Mm. I'm, so, I'm, yeah, I'm going for a score year, I think draw. They drew, I think they drew one one. Yeah, I'm, I'm going for a score draw again, bro. I think I think City have done. I you think, do, I yeah. Yeah, Vinny's had two weeks off because they didn't know La Liga games played this weekend just gone, and he was suspended for the one before um for the one before that. Mm. So he's had what yeah, two weeks off, two and a bit weeks off. So he's gonna be fresh. Yeah, Rodrigo was on fire anyway. Yeah, and and they've got a lot of their players back. I think Militao. Yeah, Rodrigo on the left was, was looking serious. Oh, brother! Them goals he scored in that last game were pathetic. Mm -hmm. uh, dribbling through everyone, bang! Have some of that. Then, but they've just got for me. They've got too many good players in midfield. Whereas Man City, you look at them and it's like, okay, cool. You've got Rodri. Yeah, who else you got? Kovacic. Yeah, he's a mm. steady Eddie. Yeah, and you, you've got Foden running around doing left and right and middle and whatever. And then you have got mm -hmm. KDB. What else have they got, bro? They've got nothing else in the middle. 
when you look at Real Madrid's midfielders, bro, they can bring fucking Camavinga and Modric off the bench. If Madrid, <laughs> if if uh, Man City start KDB and De Bruyne tonight, I mean KDB and Holland tonight, then I, I'll say Madrid wins. Oh, I need both to see the, I need yeah, to see the starting start. eleven. If he starts them both, then I think Madrid are gonna are gonna nick it. I'll be real. I don't know yeah. if they can afford to play with nine men against Real Madrid. No. Nah. And the, and the thing is, the reason I didn't mention Bernardo Silva is I don't think he'll play midfield. I think they'll put him on the right. You think so? Con- yeah, I think it'd be more controlled on the ball. When they when they played him last year and um, was he Germans, he played mm. on the right wing. And he was fucking cooking by uh, Bayern Munich last year. Yeah, him and Grealish, bro, for the ball retention. Yeah, I think that's what he'll do tonight. And then he'll have, um, mm. he'll have Rodri, Kovacic and De Bruyne. Could actually work, but yeah, I don't that. think he'll play Foden. I think he'll bring him off the bench. Ooh, that's a boy, that's a shout, Lee. You know, mm. ooh, big up Matty for the super chat as well. Foden bro. is in so much form, though. Yeah, bro, he benched him at the weekend after a fucking hat trick. <laughs> but I <laughs> think that, that on the means, pitch. But I think that that means he's playing <laughs> today, though. But then, can you drop De Bruyne? He's he scored twice at the weekend. Yeah, I know, but it was against Palace, bro. You know what I'm saying? And also, like, Madrid away from home, I think that the work rate is the one thing you can't compromise against mm. Madrid away. I think you need legs in there. Yeah, yeah, true. Yeah, they've got Camavinga, Chouameni, Jude, they've got Cruz, they've got Modric, Valverde, fucking hell, man. This is these names, bro. <laughs> like, mm. It's crazy. I like, get these likes up, man. 1,100 in here. We ain't even at 250. You lot are mad. Like, come on, man. And big up to Matty for the super chat. Don't forget the streets say Sol Campbell couldn't get into this team, bruv. I couldn't believe what I was hearing. You said that? Judges had a stinker, bruv. <laughs> He's had a stinker, bruv. He said the only player, yeah, from the uh, George Graham and Ven- uh, George Graham team that would get, or Wenger team that would get in our team right now is Ashley Cole. I was like, nah, bruv. Like, come on, really? Nah, nah, nah. I, I see that clip doing the rounds, but I was like, oh my days. What, Soul see, but this, nah, in, this is the problem. Man gets so carried away, blood. What's man talking about? Well, them two centre-backs we got are extremely good. Yeah, but they ain't that good. They ain't that level good. Yeah, they're not Tony Adams good, and they ain't fucking Sol Campbell good, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? They're good, and they could go on to be that good. But, nah, not right now, mate. Come on. What are we doing here? Uh, big up Tiger Claws as well, man. PSG or Barca? Rayo to Brexit tackle them Bailey. Bro, that Arejo's dog shit. I can't lie. Every time I watch him, bro, he's awful. But I don't know. Yeah, that should be a good game. I'm gonna I'm gonna do that game tomorrow. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And it should be a good game because Barca are not the like Barca they were last season defensively. Yeah, they give you mad chances. Mm. Yeah, and PSG have got Mbappe. Exactly, so, but that's why that's why something could happen, bro. Like to be honest. I don't know, man. Like, a part of me wanted to watch the the other game, but it was just like, how can I not watch Mbappe versus Barcelona? Like, it feels like a, a sin to not watch it. You know? <laughs> but it's just, like, <laughs> but it's just like, man, I've got Dortmund and Sancho, and then man, I've got Atleti, and Atleti been playing some decent stuff. So, yeah, true. I, man. Expect, I expect Atleti to 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 deal with Dortmund, though. To be honest. Yeah, I've, I think. Yeah, I, th- I think Atleti stink their way through. I think they stink their way through that. I think the yeah. first leg's at home as well. So, so yeah, Atleti will get a nice little 1-0 in that. And then they'll go out to Dortmund. It'll be a 1-1. Mm-hmm. And they'll go through 2-1. I don't see lo- I don't see loads of goals in any of these ties. I can't lie. Maybe the Barca PSG is probably going to be the highest scoring one. I think so, yeah. I think there's goals for both teams um, in both legs. Yeah, our game, I don't know. Uh, if the way everyone's talking about Bayern Munich, like they're a finished football club, completely finished, I'm not so sure, bro. Like, and yeah. bro, they gave up on the league, man, a while ago. Like, I, I watched, um, I watched the last couple games. Um, obviously, I watched the um, Dortmund one because Sancho was playing, and they just weren't up for it, bro. Bayern Munich, bro, like they were second to every, every fifty fifty, every sixty forty. They just weren't playing, bro. Like they just they just couldn't give up, they just couldn't Going give a shit. Emotion, it's just keeping the yeah. Up. <laughs> yeah, that's it. Like their manager's probably saying, Yeah, let me just not get injured, and that like, these guys are pulling out of tackles. Like their mind fully was off the league, innit? So don't be surprised 
to see these men um, turn up and have a bit between their teeth because that's all they're all they're playing for now. They didn't yeah, get not, not from they're playing for new contracts as well. Mm. Mm. Most of their players are out of contract soon, so a lot of them are playing for. And, and let's be real, a lot of them have embarrassed that football club by not winning the title this season. So yeah. they're playing for their buying careers. A lot of them, yeah. Kingsley Coman, I think it's the first season he ain't won a trophy since he's played football or a title. Sorry, I don't, yeah, I don't, or even a, a trophy. I think yeah. he, um, I think he's actually won more tr uh, titles than he's played seasons. He got two in one season. He got PSG and Bayern, didn't he? Won a yeah, title of both. That's yeah, crazy. So he must be pissed, bro. Every year he's played football, he's won a league title, apart from this year. Yeah, so I don't know. Yeah, this is going to be a mad game, bro. No, I'm not really worried right now, but when I see that starting eleven later, bro, I'm going to be fucking having kittens. If that's it, when you see the when you see the starting eleven, that's when you can decide how you feel. You know mm. what I mean? And that's what I said about the City game. I need to see. The starting eleven before I can make a prediction. Can't really make one right now. Yeah, yeah, it's a bit of a mad one. It's a mad one, but I don't know, man. The atmosphere is going to be lit. These are the kind of games I miss going to. I can't lie. Mm -hmm. Like, like Luton's and stuff like that, and the Brighton's not for me. But these big games. Last time I went to a European game was at Letty, man. We fucking hammered them, man. Then it ended one-one. Griezmann scored right at the death. They had ten men after about ten minutes. Simeone got a red card about five minutes after that, got sent to the stands, and Oblak just turned into the best keeper ever seen. And that was mm -hmm. ridiculous. And then Koscielny fucking put Griezmann clean through. And then we lost 1-0 in their grounds. And uh, they ended up winning the Europa that year. So, yeah, yeah, it's a mad one. I can't lie. Tommy Asu has to start a left-back all day long for me. But I don't know, mm -hmm. man. We'll see later, innit? But, yeah, some good games tonight, man. Just a shame. Just a shame I'm going to have to watch the Madrid game tomorrow. But, um, yeah, sure. Yeah, it's a bit of a piss take, man. But I don't know, man. Yeah, Kim K at the Emirates again. Please, no. Please, fucking no. Get her well away from the Emirates, man. The King, the Kardashian curse blood for Arsenal, fam. To the <laughs> Imagine hey, Aaron man. Drake turn up, bro. We're finished. <laughs> hey, that's what I'm saying. Hey, who knows, innit? That's a mad thing if that happens, bro. But nah, man, you lot, you lot look solid. I'll be honest, you lot look solid, bro. So as long you as do. you don't, as long as you don't deviate away from what you've been doing you'll be fine obviously in the champions league you don't look as good but it is what it is the confidence and the fact that they don't have fans should be putting these lot away mate like oh, you have to make you have to make them pay for the fact that they don't have fans you have to take advantage of that because it is an advantage because their yeah. fans travel well blood and there's loads of germans in this country so they would have definitely filled out all their away allocations yeah, there's probably a load of Germans that have got Arsenal season tickets as well. So there will be Germans in the ground, oh, even if sure. they don't bust their way in. Absolutely. So, yeah, they will be there. They will be there. But I don't know, man. It's, yeah, it's going to be difficult. But the thing is, we, like you said, we are playing really well, man. You know, like Rice and them two centre-backs and the goalkeeper, man. But this is where we're going to see who, who is actually on it, who is actually world-class potential for our football club tonight. Because all the talk of Saka and Odegaard and Martinelli and all these players and that, Mm -hmm. Yeah, let's see if they can turn up tonight and, and put this lot to bed, mate. Because if we can get out of there with a two, anything more than a two goal lead, yeah, I think the tie's done. If we win 3 0, they're, they're finished. Yeah, we've still obviously got to go and play and play properly and do a professional performance out there. But if we get a 3 0, fucking hell. Yeah, like, mate, mad. But yeah, I don't see it going like that. I just see it's just, we're not going to play how we play in the Premier League, which kind of worries me a little bit. But yeah, yeah. Like, but, but, but you should, though. Yeah, I think we should. Yeah, I but think we should. And this should. is what winds me up with European teams and international football. It's like, just go out and play Premier League-style football. You'll batter most teams. Yeah, because they're not used to the pace. Mm. Yeah, everything 100 mile an hour. But the thing with Tuchel as well, yeah, like, he'll probably go with some stinky back three tonight. Yeah, with wing backs and, like, he'll just try and... Yeah, but the thing is, up. he's a weirdo. But, bro, I'll be real, yeah? As much as he's a weirdo, He's got good. He's got good records in cup competition. So no matter what he does, you just think, yo. Who knows? Could happen, bro. It could work, blood. Who knows? Mm. And not always the best team wins this competition. We see Chelsea win it a couple of years ago, and <laughs> they weren't the best team in Europe, mate. So same when Porto won it, they weren't the best team in Europe either. So yeah, yeah it's right. a bit, a bit crazy, man. E even one of e even a couple of Madrid's ones, they weren't the best team in Europe. Man City were better than them for a couple of years. And they still won it a couple of years back, didn't they? Knocked City out on the way. I don't, like Benzema fucking just turned up every time, didn't he? But 
I don't think they were the best team in Europe. I think City were better than them for a good couple of Yeah, they of years. were. And I think there was that Rodrigo Rodrigo come off the bench for them a few times and done the match. Yeah, scored twice in stoppage time or something when mm. it right at the end. And the race, yeah. <laughs> Yeah, man. Yeah, mad. Yeah, even Chelsea in 2012 weren't the best team in Europe. Yeah, you don't need to be. You don't need the best team. You don't need to be the best team to win the Champions League. That's the beauty of um, cup competitions. You just gotta hit form at the right time, get a bit of luck, mm. so on and so forth. Yeah, big up to Granit Xhaka. Uh, well done on your title win, mate. He's left Arsenal to go and win major honours. Well done. Um, my dad's 73 year old, lifelong United fan. Uh, likes a Burkham Suarez scared the shit out of him. Now, the only thing that scares him is his own team and his manager. <laughs> and today, and he said, Today's football stinks. <laughs> All right, big up, Pops, man. Big up to the Pops. Yeah, he's got his squad. yeah, made the older ones know, man. All these kids growing up, they don't understand what bro, our, our own worst enemy, literally, our managers is our manager and our players, bro. Swear down. That, that's what I mean. When I look around. There's no real fear anywhere, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? It's just that we're just not good enough, bro. And th this is why nobody gets onto my team more than me, bro. Because, like, they're the ones that we should be holding accountable. It's all well and well and good me looking at everyone else's team and saying, oh, cool, but their players ain't that good and they don't have this and they don't have that. The reality is, yeah, that just shows how shit we are. Mm. That's all yeah, it does. And that's the thing. You should be critical of a team that, that's won everything and that you've seen win everything. Yeah, and even if you win games, you can still be critical. The best team on the planet boo their fucking team every other week if they're playing shit. Imagine right. what I'm saying. Yeah, and all of a sudden they go out and win stuff. Not rocket science, is it? Tottenham mm -hmm. Tottenham booed their team off the other day against Luton. Mm -hmm. Yeah, half time. Yeah, what was the end result? Oh, they won the game. Do you know what I'm saying? You have to have accountability, man. The problem is that ain't really a thing anymore, is it? Nobody wants to be accountable for anything. So crazy, man. Um, Lee, is the Champions League match cancelled? No, why would it be cancelled, bro? Why would it be cancelled? If, if you're talking about this uh, this suspected attack, yeah, that's probably just some Arsenal, uh, some German fan, some Bayern fan, bruv, that's just done some mad fucking graphic, pull it out there to get people to put their tickets on fucking ticket exchange. Yeah, yeah, that ain't nothing, bro. Like you, man, said anyway, you got Zinchenko, man, the freedom file. You, yeah, you're man, sweet, yeah, you can take them all on, bruv. Do you know what I'm saying? That's <laughs> what you are, bro. Did you see Sergio Rio killing, killing him? Yeah. Cooked him. It's 100%. Do you know what I mean? He said, listen, if you're going to do it, mate, get on and do it, innit? Do you know what I mean? And stop yeah, hiding. Talk is cheap. That's it. No, yeah, we set up a GoFundMe, lads. We set up a GoFundMe for his flight. because he's done The funny it thing is, yeah, with these, with he's players sick. like Serge Aurier, these men give back so much to their communities, yeah? And they do so much in their countries of origin that they can speak about shit like this. Do you know what I mean? They can say, yo, if you're really about it, then go do something. Do you know what I'm saying? Like, that don't even make no sense. All this guy does is waffle, blood. He's just on the propaganda machine, bro. Yeah, facts. Yeah, 100%, man. And then the funny thing is, yeah, he was sitting in this interview saying that he donated a million quid to, to the war and all of this and that and blah, blah, blah. Bro, there's a tax write-off. Nobody cares. It's true. That's it. Yeah. And not only that, he's, if he's been doing that since it started, that's nearly two years, isn't it? Yeah, mm. it equates to about 10 grand a week. He's on about 200 grand a week, bro. It's fuck all. Yeah. Fair. Yeah, fair play, fair play for doing what giving away a million quid. Cool, yeah. yeah but if you're writing million. off 10 grand or 10 grand of tax a month, yeah, you're writing that off. Yeah, so <laughs> what you fucking do, mate. Do you know what yeah, I mean? Like, and then the funny thing is, he even signed me in the interview and said, I've got friends fighting on the front line. Well, why aren't you with them then? That's what I'm saying. Why didn't the interviewer ask him that? Like, oh, but if I get the call up, yeah, if, 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 how about you make yourself... If, like, they're, like they're going to go out of their way to call you up, bro. Do you know I what I'm saying? It's some sort of international know. duty, bro. Like, he's getting, waiting for the call up, waiting for the yellow ticker tape on Sky Sports. Oh, man, <laughs> he's waiting for that phone call, blood, sitting around the table with his family and that. Do you know what I mean? So he gets called up and that. Come on, do me a favour, broski. Do you yeah, know what I'm saying? Really he's an bad. idiot, bro. He's an absolute idiot, bro. I mean, I can't stand it, bro. Yeah, proper weirdo, man. Uh, just a uh, big up to Declan as well. Say hi to Declan, guys. Uh, just went on Twitter. Saw a tweet uh, from like a week ago with Levy saying, my club is partially owned by the Rothschilds. Why do I support this club? Is that true? It wouldn't surprise me. They own most of the world, mate, so it wouldn't surprise me. <laughs> yeah, but that wouldn't surprise me anyway because United, um, the Glazers had, um, or what do you call it, a guarantee from the, the Rothschilds. There you go. They had a guarantee from them as well. Um, 
Yeah, so it just is what it is. All right, big up Hitchy Goat Man. He said they saw his defending and realized they don't need him to defend their country. <laughs> yeah. right, somebody in my chat yesterday, I think it was Declan as well. Big up Declan, yeah. He was in my chat yesterday. And he goes, he goes, yeah, he'd wander off inverted, mate, and get done by a drone. <laughs> Like my chat was fucking crazy yesterday, I swear, man. Proper funny. Like, it's not a joke. Right, we are going to wrap this up, though, man. I need to uh, I need to go out. I need to get some food. Mm. And then I'm going to have a little siesta. And we will be there in four hours from now, guys, for the build-up. Uh, and if I see that wanker at left back, I am going to be fuming. And um, I'm, I might buy some popcorn, just in case he starts. Right. Mm. But, yeah, hopefully, man. Hopefully we beat him. I'm, if, if I'm... I'm going to give a prediction now, but I'm going to change it if he's in the team. But I'm going to go 2-0. 2-0 to Arsenal. But if he's in that team, I'm not so sure. But I don't know, man. But yeah, man. Um, listen, what have you got coming up, bro? Bruv, what have I got coming up, man? Obviously, I'm going to do the watch along. Um, I'm going to be watching both games, but obviously the focus is on the buying game. Um, the hate yeah, along, man. The hate along. <laughs> it's not even a hate along, bro. Like, bro, it is what it is at this point, bro. There's no hate in my heart. I just want to see some good football, bro. Hopefully, you man lose and go out over both legs. Do you know what I mean? But if you don't lose, then I hope you lose in the next round, bro. I've never hid my intentions. Do you know what I mean? There's, <laughs> there's no hate. I just don't want you, man, to do better than we do. Do you know what I'm saying? And it will always be that way for the rest of my life. So it is what it is. I'm never going to want to see you guys do better than us. Never. So. It just is, and it, and, and it'll no, be the same that, for man. your fans. Your fans are never going to want to see us do better than you as well. Like, that's just how it is. Don't worry, man. Arsenal hate is real. <laughs> yeah. So, like, it just, it, it just is what it is, people. So, man's going to go there and watch it. Do you know what I'm saying? It's like, it's not even a hate along for me. It's just, I just want to watch football. And let me, see if, let me see if Arsenal are the real deal, bro. Do you know what I'm saying? That's like, I think the whole world's cool. looking at that, thinking, yo, this is what the process is, uh, is landed on. Yeah? yeah. This is what everyone's been waiting for. Mm. Yeah, now let's see if we actually are any good and we are scary, mm. dangerous, world class, unstoppable, and unbeatable. All right, do you know what I'm saying? Because we've we've done a lot of money, we've had a lot of PR over the last four years, and it's all on this because this is the biggest mm -hmm. game he's ever managed. Hundred percent. So yeah, man. Listen, let's hope he uh, let's hope he gets it spot on. He's done all right, man. He's done all right this season so far. So right. especially since January. So yeah, man. Fingers crossed. Uh, we're going to redirect to Saeed. He's live now. Um, talking about uh, John Murto. He's leaving. Um, mm -hmm. so spam sage chat with Lee Raid, and uh, yeah, man, I'll be back for the watch along in four hours from now. But um, make sure you sub to Rants as well, linking the title, and big up to everyone locked in who's dropped super chats as well. Appreciate you, man, and uh, we'll be back later. Adios.